The family of the jogger killed in Washington, D.C. is praising police for quickly arresting a murder suspect. Wendy Martinez was stabbed to death on Tuesday. Detectives believe it was a random act of violence. The 35-year-old woman had just gotten engaged to her fiancé last week. Chip Reed is, out the, is outside the restaurant where Martinez, who was jogging at the time, ran for help after she was attacked. Chip, good morning. Well, good morning. Wendy Martinez lived just a couple of blocks from here, and as you can imagine, her death has unnerved many people in this neighborhood. Last night, many of her neighbors and friends gathered in a nearby park to honor her memory and offer comfort to her family. Amazing. Wendy Martinez's loved ones say the quick arrest of a suspect in her murder has done little to soften their grief. My heart has been broken in a thousand pieces. Her mother, Cora, urged mourners at a candlelight vigil last night to live by her daughter's example. My daughter fought up to the last breath. She fought courageously. You do the same. Police say they tracked down the man in this grainy surveillance video, Anthony Crawford, in a park Wednesday night about a mile north of the crime scene. The 23-year-old is charged with first-degree murder, but his motive is unknown. Police don't believe it was a robbery or that the suspect knew Martinez. We will be taking a look at not only his criminal past, but if he had any mental health issues or substance abuse issues. Martinez was out running Tuesday night, waiting for the light change when Crawford allegedly stabbed her seven times. She sought help inside a nearby Chinese takeout restaurant, but the 35-year-old collapsed and was later pronounced dead at the hospital. Martinez's death came seven days after her fiancé, Daniel Incapier, proposed to her. You know, I'm going to keep her alive by helping her achieve the dreams that she wanted to achieve. Incapier said Martinez, an avid runner, was trying to qualify for the Boston Marathon, but the South Florida native's ultimate goal was to help poor women in Nicaragua, where her parents are from. Her younger brother, Juan Carlos, called her his role model. Cora Martinez said the week following Wendy's engagement was the happiest in her daughter's life. She says because of her Christian faith and the outpouring of support from the community, she feels no hatred for Wendy's killer. I'm sad. But at the same time, I'm not resentful. I have chosen to forgive, and I forgive that person. Cora Martinez said she was with her daughter last weekend when she bought her wedding dress, but she never imagined that the next time she would see her daughter wearing that dress would be at her funeral. Diana? How could any mother imagine that? And to no. think about the strength that Cora has to be able to forgive this man. man yes. So soon after he took her daughter away from them, yeah, so many lives shattered. I marvel too beyond it, people that can do that when they are in such pain and such grief. And with every detail of the story, I got where she was engaged, yes. she just got in the dress, and then to see the video of her actually running into the store, yeah. clearly, clearly distressed. Just There's only one positive is that her mother said this was the best week of her life. Life, yeah. Yeah, short life there.